Okay, here we're going to investigate some of the components of growing media. In particular here, we're going to look at the inorganic components. So if you ever looked at growing media, the, some contain mixtures of perlite, vermiculite, pumice, sand, and wetting agents. We'll look at each of these in a little bit more detail. So starting with perlite, uh, it looks like this. It's kind of little white uh, particles that are in there. This gives you a size orientation compared to a penny. And perlite is sand that's expanded by heat and has the ability to hold water and nutrients while also aerating the soil. It will float in water, so may, it may rise to the surface of the container, especially when you first go to irrigate something. If you irrigate with a lot of water to kind of moisten the full soil, or soilless media, I should say, this, uh, these white particles might float to the surface. That's the perlite floating to the surface. The main goal is to increase the drainage of the growing media. It comes in different sizes, so if you're looking at mixing your own, there's fine, medium, and coarse, with coarse being the most common, and this is typically implemented in growing medium, not so much uh, propagation medium, especially for the coarse or larger particle size. There's also something called vermiculite, and it looks like this. It's mica that has been expanded by heat. It offers many of the same benefits as perlite, such as holding water in air while also improving the drainage. However, it can hold more water than perlite and is more commonly seen uh, in cutting and propagation mixes there. It has the same grading system, fine, medium, and coarse, with fine being used for the propagation and coarse being used more for the main growing situations. Again, it's favored in that cutting and propagation kind of area simply because it holds more water and moisture retention is a major concern when you're dealing with the propagation environment. Uh, pumice, this is a very light and porous volcanic rock. It's formed when gas rich, frothy of glass lava solidifies rapidly. So this is kind of that expanded um, volcanic rock. This, as a result, this is very porous and is, it'll actually float in water even though it is a rock. It's very light, uh, something you may have seen in, for example, if you use grills, uh, pumice can be involved with that due to its um, rock-like structure, but extremely light um, appearance, uh, extremely light weight, I should say, simply because of the amount of porosity or air pockets that it has in it. Then we also have sand. This is the exact composition of sand varies, but it is made from rock and minerals that are finer than gravel, but coarser than silt if you're looking at a gradation. So sand can be incorporated again uh, to help aerate soil, to help create um, uh, separation of particles. Uh, and while its composition may be slightly varied, the purpose there is still the same. Also have the last inorganic compound here is wetting agents, and these are very important. They lower the surface tension of a liquid, allowing it to spread out, creating a water film. So if we have um, no wetting agents, we'll just say, we have this large water droplet. Adding wetting agents can cause that kind of to form a sheet. We see the different comparisons here of A, B, C, and S. The wetting of different uh, fluids. A shows fluid with very little wetting, while C shows a fluid with more wetting. You can see that greater contact uh, surface here. C has a small contact angle, and that's allowing that to spread out, and S is kind of that showing that ultimate sheet there. However, the downfall of wetting agents is there is a lifespan, which varies. It's typically around three to six months uh, for long-term wetting agents. So this is why getting new um, soilless speed is advised, because sometimes the wetting agents uh, can degrade over time. Or if you're reusing media, while it may work out good initially, those wetting agents may not be as effective the second round or second time that you use that soilless media.